Hey guys, Yams here. Welcome back to the final video of 2023. It's probably going to end up releasing in 2024, but I don't care. This is literally every figure I've gotten in 2023, and this was, just like last year, very hard to set up. It was going fine at first. It was going perfectly fine. I had everyone set up. Then I forgot about this guy right here. This guy. He fell on the ground. And um, also, it was too wide to fit the camera angle. As you can see, I just fit everything. Um, and yeah, it was it was too big. So then I shrunk it down and squeezed everyone in. Then I forgot about this guy. And it, yeah, it was a whole... It was a whole shit show. But we got everyone here. Uh, I don't... I know this is probably over 300 worth... Over probably about or over $300 at least spent on these guys this year. Um, no regrets. Not really. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. We have some NECA... Uh, actually one NECA figure, I believe. Um, lots of Transformers, lots of Star Wars, three and three quarter, uh, not too many Black Series, and a little bit of Bandai, too. And then some Miscellaneous, which we'll get into as well. That's always fun. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right, this is what I got for the, uh, pretty much all Star Wars, three and three quarters. Um, most of them are TVC, I want to say, well... A good quarter of them are TVC, and then the other ones are like uh, 2005 and before, I'd say. So, as for TVC, we have Cad Bane, uh, the Mandalorian Super Commando Captain, whatever you want to call it. I call it Maldalorian. Um, uh, TVC 500 first, the normal clone, uh, and then, yeah, that's it. And then for the older, like early 2000s figures, we have the Count Dooku from Attack of the Clones. Sam Wessel from Attack of the Clones, uh, Magna Guard from the 2005, and then uh, General Grievous from 2005. And then, in the back, the Attack of the Clones 2002 Slave 1, uh, which is probably my favorite Star Wars vehicle I own. And, yeah, it was, um, it was a pretty good year for these guys. Uh, I needed, I desperately needed a new Grievous. My only Grievous has an arm an arm broken off and it's not a four-armed grievous it's like the one with just two arms and it comes with a gun and only one lightsaber and then his cape i think it's the saga collection i hate that one <laughs> that's the one i grew up with i hated it i wanted like an authentic grievous and now i have one um yeah all these guys are great there's a review for um i don't remember if i reviewed this normal white clone but there's a 501st review out on my shorts you can go watch that and then same with cad bane there's a review for him too uh hopefully i get to review all these guys in this year upcoming year uh but yeah so that's all i got for star wars during three quarters now for bandai it was pretty simple this year i kind of skimped out there was a lot of good releases this year but i just didn't have the money or had other things to buy instead of them uh but I mean, these guys are great. This is the 1994 Bandai Gamera from some movie. I have no idea. Um, and then this is the new released Ebera, Bandai Ebera, Movie Monster Series. Both very great figures. Not much to say on this. Uh, these are just the only two I got this year. These were all the Transformers I got this year. Uh, I really enjoyed buying all these guys. I just really, um, I don't know. I found a lot of cool ones this year. I got the... War for Cybertron, uh, Megatron, and Cliff Jumper. Uh, I got the Rise of the Beast Novocaine, uh, Rise of the Beast Studio Series Novocaine, and uh, Bumblebee. I don't know why that I just blanked out on that. The Buzzworthy Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beast. Um, this Skull Cruncher, I want to say his name is. I always get it wrong. Um, the Sharktacon Megatron, as I said. Uh, let's see. The Kingdom Dinobot, um, I don't forget who this guy is, but he's like a Shadow Bomber, 
um, and then Core Class Ratchet, uh, which is actually one of my favorites. So yeah, uh, not too much to say on these guys. Uh, a lot of them made my um, my top ten figures of the year for 2023. Uh, you can go check that video out. I'll have it at the end of this one, I think maybe. If not, I literally uploaded it the day after, or the day before this one. So, definitely just go to my channel, check that one out, because that has, like, the highlights of all the figures you see today. I rank them in the top ten best ones, I'd say. So, um, yeah, this is more just, like, everything I got. Like, a haul, pretty much. Uh, but, yeah, that's the Transformers. Not too much to say. Another collection of things I didn't get too many of this year, uh, the Black Series. Um, what I did get was the Battlefront 2 Gaming Greats Mall. I don't know the exact, I think it's called Old Master. Um, I got the Black Series Black Chrysanthemum from the Book of Boba, not the comic one. I hate the comic book one. It, it, I, I hate it. I hate it. This one's so much better. This is like one of my favorite Black Series I own. And then the Grand Inquisitor, which is like a solid figure, but uh, I just wish he had more time in the show. That's all. But has nothing to do with the figure. The figure's great. Um, and yeah, again, not too much to say on these guys, other than the fact I've been ranting about it in every single video, including my review for Black Chrysanthemum. Uh, he's just one of the best ones that came out of this year, in my opinion. And he's the best Wookiee figure we've ever gotten ever, in my opinion. I know that's a big hot take, but I think it is. Um, yeah, and then Old Master Mall, I did a review on him. You can go check that out as well. I sh I think it's out by now. Uh, it's on in my shorts. And eventually I'll get around to doing this uh, Grand Inquisitor. I just haven't yet. Uh, but yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Up next, we have these Walking Dead figures I got this year. Um, I decided to give these uh, their own category this year. I bought Rick Grimes in Heat, like, I think in 2022. And he was in last year's everything I got, but he was in miscellaneous, if I'm not mistaken, just because I didn't have uh, any more to kind of put him with. Um, or like that many to put him with. Uh, but yeah, this year I decided to get a lot more. Uh, and by a lot, I mean three. But <laughs> um, I was really happy with Herschel. I really wanted Herschel. He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, Abraham's pretty cool. Uh, and then this zombie guy from the comics, I don't really know, I haven't read the comics, but he seems pretty cool. The figure just was, like, a really cool thing to own. Um, however, that being said, it's a burden to have to hold this guy. Because his mohawk piece is removable, and he's skinny, and the guitar falls off, and the head piece with the mohawk falls off all the time. And on top of that, he's not that posable since he's in a very, like, a definitely older figure. So, um, it's hard to get this guy standing up. I don't remember if he came with a, like, a little stand or anything. I don't think he did. I don't know why that took me so long to remember what that was. I don't think he did. So, it's just a really hard thing to deal with. <laughs> so, I just kind of, you just buy him and then leave him on the shelf. You don't you don't touch this guy, but I had to bring him down in order to show him off. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Overall, I'm happy with these guys, and I might get some more in the future. Uh, I don't know if I'll be getting enough to make, like, my own display with all of them there. They might just stay with the rest of the figures somewhere else, but yeah, overall pretty cool. I'm glad I got him. Also, I don't know why, but Abraham kind of reminds me of Commander Carl from, uh, from Toy Story um yeah these are all the horror figures that I got this year uh they're really like miscellaneous I decided to just group them all together instead of going into brand by brand because they're all different uh this one is from NECA this one is McFarlane these two I have no clue what they are but they're like in terms of brand but they are tormented souls from the like Hellraiser Clive Barker type deal and this is the hia toys 2022 leatherface slaughter edition or something like that so they're all different brands and i didn't decide i didn't want to break them up in terms of that so they're just all horror figures 
and uh i couldn't i can't let these guys go like this is one of my favorites that i got this year this guy's awesome he's one of my favorite things about the conjuring movies um the fly that's it's just like i didn't even know they had a figure of that and then i looked it up actually no i didn't look it up i walked into a random like uh, oddities store and right down the street from me and they just had him in there and i didn't even know they made them and then i picked it up and i googled it and i bought this guy for 30 dollars on amazon and everywhere else he was going for about 100 to 130 dollars so you know i had to pick him up and uh, no regrets um yeah and then these two i love because i love the cinnabite um clive barker all of his designs are so unique and so cool and grotesque and then the leather face i that's just self-explanatory i talk about him in my top 10 video so definitely go to watch that again go to watch that after this um yeah not too much to say on these guys yet again but they just they just kind of speak for themselves i mean look at them they're really cool all right, and then last but not least, we have the miscellaneous figures of the year. Um, this is a Jurassic World toy. Usually I have them in, I usually, like, in the past two end-of-the-year videos I believe I've made, I've had more than one Jurassic World or Park figure. But today, or this year, it was only one. I just got this guy. He was really cheap on clearance. Uh, they they went kind of dead, I'm not going to lie. Like, they have some good ones, like the uh, Airtator I want to get. Uh, the Hammond collection, I need to get almost every figure from that, but they're just expensive, and they're also found mostly at Target. They're a Target kind of brand, and uh, I live close to a Walmart, so naturally, I'm not going to find them. Um, the guy from Disturbed, great figure. Um, I was really happy to be able to pick him up. Um, Metro from Real Steel, that's a really hard find nowadays. You can't find that in any store. Um, that's an online purchase only pretty much because that's a very old Jack Pacific figure. And then, um, this, uh, Funk Ops from Fortnite, uh, he's just, yeah, it's self-explanatory. Look at him. He's awesome. So yeah, miscellaneous figures of the year. <clears throat> not, not too much to say about him, but, uh, Metro is definitely my favorite personally out of all these guys. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Let's cut to the outro. All right, guys, and that pretty much wraps up my entire video here of everything I got in 2023. Um, it's been a good year for figures, I do have to say. As you can see, I picked up a lot, and although not all of these came out this year, obviously, most of them didn't. But um, it's been a good year for figures, I do have to say. It's a lot better than last year, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like last year's flagship purchase was probably my... Um, like avatar banshee that i got uh you can check that video i'll link it in the end of this one uh i believe that was kind of like the flagship of this that year uh this year i'd say flagship is probably either buzzworthy optimus uh sharktacon megatron from prime or the slave one in the back just because i've wanted all of those for a while um, and yeah, so that pretty much does it. Uh, again, last video of 2023, uh, I hope to be making more in 2024. Uh, I'm going to be heavy on the YouTube shorts. That's where you're going to mainly find new uploads from me now. That's going to be like my main source of reviews. I'll occasionally do real like full-time reviews, um, like an actual full video, but they're going to be for more important figures. Uh, not so much like a three and three quarter or something like that. I may unbox the Maldalorian, the commando back there, super commando, uh, TVC. I might unbox that in a whole video just to give you guys like a, a traditional whole video unboxing and review. Uh, slave ones get getting a whole review, things like that. But uh, I'm going to try and cut down to some shorts and, uh, it seems to be attracting a lot more new viewers and yeah, I'm enjoying it, and it's a lot easier to film on me and edit, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm hoping for in 2024, and that's it. So uh, if you like, enjoyed, you know, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm not going to bother you guys with that, but um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.